Children's research tapped into the challenge of long-term engagement in children with social robots, which tend to wear off even within one session. In order for social robots in education to be successful, long-term interactions are essential, which means that children need to remain motivated to engage in learning tasks provided by the robot over multiple sessions. Since motivation is a prerequisite for task engagement, it is necessary to motivate children when interacting with a social robot. In our research, we incorporated the self-determination theory by Daisy and Ryan into the social robot now. This influential theory on motivation from psychology states that intrinsic motivation thrives mainly on three intertwined psychological needs. These are autonomy, competence and relatedness. The latter plays a substantial role in maintaining intrinsic motivation. We aim to investigate whether a social robot supporting these three basic human needs could affect children's task engagement and learning gain in second language learning. We carried out an experiment with 49 Dutch native speaking children of five and six years old. The children played 30 rounds of I Spy with my little eye using now as a tutor. We adopted the baseline condition of the wit et al as our control condition. And we compared this with two conditions applying motivational strategies. One condition only satisfied the need for autonomy and competence. The other condition also satisfied the need for relatedness. The need for autonomy was implemented by granting choice to the child. The need for competence was implemented by providing positive feedback sentences and by showing performance contingent awards. Die was lastig. Kippel. Kippel. Is het Engelse woord voor mijlpaard. Tik maar op de. Kippel. Wauw, dat goed. The need for relatedness was implemented by placing the robot close to the child at a 45 degree angle. The robot also asked the child was what his or her favorite color was after which the background color of the tablet changed into that color. Vandaag mag jij de kleur kiezen van de tablet. Wat is jouw lievelingskleur? Groen. Wat leuk. Groen is ook mijn favoriete kleur. The robot also used the child's name in the feedback sentences and the robot suggested a fist bump. We hypothesized that children's task engagement is stronger when all three needs are satisfied and that they remain engaged over time compared to the other two conditions. We also hypothesized that children will learn more target words and will remember those words longer compared to the other two conditions. Finally, we hypothesized that task engagement positively correlates with learning gain. The experiment consisted of six phases. A group introduction, which consisted of a background story to frame now as a peer named Robin. A Dutch pretest and an English pretest to test the children's prior knowledge of the six target words bird, monkey, horse, ladybug, hippo, and chicken. These words were identical as in the wit et al. The concept binding to provide the children with a correct match between the L2 target word and the corresponding image. The experimental phase. This phase consisted of two test rounds, one in Dutch and one in English, followed by the actual experiment of 30 rounds of I spy with my little eye. The robot said in Dutch, I spy with my little eye a, uh, followed by target words in English, after which the child had to select a picture on the tablet. And an immediate post-test and a delayed post-test after one week to test learning gain and long-term retention of the L2 target words. We measured task engagement using a coding scheme on a five-point scale with 0.5 intervals. 
we coded two minute videos at the fourth and 24th round using two raters. They were found to have a moderate to good inter-rater reliability. We measured learning gain by subtracting the results from the pretest from the post-test. We carried out four one-way ANOVAs with planned contrast to examine the motivational support interventions on child task engagement and learning gain. Overall, the mean task engagement of children was higher in the ACR condition compared to the AC condition and the control condition. The one-way ANOVA revealed a significant effect of condition on the mean task engagement with a p-value of 0.022. And planned contrast showed that children in the ACR condition were more engaged towards the robot compared to children in the AC condition. There was no significant difference when comparing the, the AC condition and the ACR condition with the control condition. The figure also showed that the drop in children's engagement was the smallest in the ACR condition compared to the other two conditions. A second one-way ANOVA revealed a significant effect of condition on the drop in engagement with a p-value of 0.017. Planned contrast revealed that the ACR condition and the AC condition task engagement dropped significantly less than in the control condition. There was, however, no significant difference between the ACR condition and the AC condition. So, the data did support hypothesis 1b and 2a. It did, however, not support hypothesis 1a and 2b. The children's immediate learning gain of L2 words were the highest in the ACR condition compared to the AC condition and the control condition. However, these differences were not significant. Similarly, Children's delayed learning gain was the highest in the ACR condition compared to the AC condition and the control condition. But again, these differences were not significant. So the data did not support hypothesis 3 and 4. Finally, we analyzed the correlation between the mean task engagement and the immediate learning gain and between mean task engagement and the delayed learning gain but there were no significant correlations, although we did found a significant correlation in the AC condition, so the data did not support hypothesis 5. So, our study is a first attempt to implement an intervention to support the psychological needs for autonomy, competence and relatedness into a social robot. The most important finding is that motivational strategies, which satisfy all psychological needs, seem to keep children engaged over a longer period of time. Our results show that it is possible to overcome the wearing off of motivation over time, which is essential within the educational setting. Since we implemented multiple motivational strategies, further research is needed to disentangle the contribution to task engagement of each motivational strategy. Contrary to our expectations, our study did not find a significant difference in immediate nor delayed learning gain. One possible reason could be the large variation between children. We also expect that with more power, that is a sample size of 250 children, it would have been likely that the ACR condition would have revealed a significant effect. We encourage more experimental, well-powered research to further investigate the effect of motivational strategies on learning gain. To conclude, this study suggests that it is beneficial to implement motivational strategies in a robot tutor supporting the psychological needs for autonomy, competence and relatedness, since we found promising results on children's task engagement in keeping children engaged over time. In particular, the need for relatedness seems to positively affect children's motivation towards an L2 word learning task.